Okay, so what are we seeing here? We're seeing new light pole banners here in the front plaza. And what we've done is we are depicting former Seedons players that are now playing in the major leagues. A lot of them that fans can identify with, such as current Red Sox stars, Jacoby Ellsbury, Josh Beckett, Dustin Pedroia, Kevin Euclid, uh, and many others. And we want to get fans to really make them show that they are really seeing the future of the Boston Red Sox play at Havlock Field today. And these light pole banners are proof of the players that have had success right out of Portland here. Talk to me about how the batter's eye has been enlarged. Well, the, uh, one of the most common complaints we've had with players over the years that our batter's eye was uh, a little small and they had trouble picking up the ball out of the pitcher's hand. So we've taken that into consideration and have enlarged our batter's eye. It's now 94 feet long and 40 feet high and now meets the minor league baseball minimum requirements for a brand new ballpark. We were within the requirements before for an older ballpark, uh, but now that uh, we decided to uh, put it up to uh, put up the standards a little bit more, make the players happy, so it might not be something that fans will that will enhance the fans' experience at all, but it's certainly going to make a difference for um, our hitters, uh, and hopefully we'll see a few more hits uh, as a result. So it definitely serves a uh, major purpose here in the ballpark. Right now we are in the Carl Yastrzemski box. We have 17 sky boxes here at the ballpark. Uh, three of them we run out on a per game basis. Uh, they range anywhere uh, between $550 to $594 per game. Comes with 22 seats. Uh, and then all the other boxes are owned by corporations for the entire season. And one thing that we did this year to improve the sky boxes is we took out all the old TVs and replaced them with uh, brand new 32 inch high def flat screen TVs. Uh, just made them keeping up with all the modern technology and uh, that should uh, enhance the fans' experience up here a little bit. Uh, now they can watch the Red Sox games in high def and uh, or whatever other programming that they want to watch uh, while they're here at the ballpark enjoying the Sea Dogs game. May 31st, uh, Memorial Day at 1 o'clock, and that's will be televising that game. and. Uh, hopefully we'll add a few others uh, to that programming list as well. And this is fully catered, right? People can come up here and... Yeah, there's a full menu that you can order off of with waitress service. You can get anything from your typical ballpark food of hot dogs and pizza, all the way up to steak tips, lobster rolls. Uh, you name it, we can probably do it for you. Okay, looking over the menu of new promotions this year, what do we have? I think one of the fun things that we're going to be doing this year is on Sunday, April 18th, we're holding a Turn Up the Clock Day. Our teams have always had Turn Back the Clock Days, but we're going to turn things up a little bit, and we're going to be playing the Trenton Thunder, which is the AA affiliate of the New York Yankees that day, and we're going to wear our Major League uniforms. So the Sea Dogs will be wearing Boston Red Sox uniforms, Trenton Thunder will be wearing New York Yankee uniforms, and it'll be just creating a uh, sense of that Vitro rivalry that, that we've all come to love over the years, that Red Sox, Yankees, uh, and, uh, uh, the evil empire coming in here. So it'll be fun for the fans, I think, and fun for the players. Uh, sometimes this might be the only opportunity they ever get to put on a big league uniform. So um, and for some of these guys, it, it really will be the future. Uh, so, uh, it's something that we're really looking forward to. There are plenty of tickets available for that game on Sunday, April 18th. Of our in-game promotions that are new this year, we have the KM Hot Dog Toss, which if fans remember the lobster toss from a few years ago. It's very similar, but we'll be using hot dogs rather than lobsters this year. Um, additionally, we've got the Fair Point Target Toss, and what's fun about that is that gives fans a opportunity to win a technology pack, which includes a laptop computer, a digital camera. So we have some really nice prizes that we hope to be giving away this year uh, with some of our in-between inning promotions and just hope to have a lot of fun with them. Um, and hopefully the fans will enjoy it as well.